that were going to be joining us. Hi, my name is Dawn Evans Casey, and I am the leader of Collaborating Connections. And I want to welcome each of you tonight to our weekly professional networking meeting via Zoom call. Uh, Collaborating Connections is part of the TTR networking realm that is to the rescue, and which has been around for the past 12 years. Um, we endeavor to serve those uh, business owners, business managers who are interested in building some extraordinary relationships, um, engaging in some wonderful warm referrals, uh, wanting to be educated, um, not only on what else is out there, what might be able to help their business uh, grow, but uh, finding out what, what's going on in, in other business owners' lives. And uh, who knows, there may be some synergies, something that they can uh, glean golden nuggets to apply to their own businesses. So we're happy to be here. Collaborating Connections has been around for more than five years now. Uh, we meet on every Tuesday evening uh, at 6 p.m. And uh, some of our members happen to have a day job and an entrepreneurial endeavor that they, uh, that they are developing, nurturing, uh, thriving in, in the evening. So uh, we tend to accommodate those who, who may be doing the balance or waiting for that entrepreneurial effort to take off so that they can uh, let go of the regular nine to five. Um, so again, I want to welcome each of you tonight and say hello to our listening audience who will be um, uh, listening to the recording later on. This is January, and our theme for the month of January is joining. It's a wonderful time, perfect time of the year to be thinking about it. Uh, joining professional networking groups such as Collaborating Connections um, and considering what makes a group, uh, what, where, where does the desire come from? What needs are you fulfilling when you decide to join a group? Um, you know, what's, what's that compelling uh, feeling? And then making sure that you dive in and find out, well, what is all there offered that can be taken advantage of? So these are some of the things that we're going to be talking about throughout the month of January. Um, we usually start off acknowledging wins that have occurred within the past week or uh, expectations of wonderful uh, blessings coming up maybe in the next week or so. So I wanna open the floor and give an opportunity to acknowledge um, any wins that anyone wants to share at this time. I'm off to Salt Lake City tomorrow for vacation, yes. And I'm looking forward to bringing bringing some knowledge I don't have, which is a lot, um, back to the, the, um, the community of us all crazy people. Um, so what am I doing? I'm going to be there for until Sunday for, um, <clears throat> we're getting the promptings premiere, which is um, the parent company of Send Out Cards. They, uh, 18, 19 year old company that now have a coaching certification. So I'm anxious to uh, get that and bring that back. And then we will talk about it. I know I've already talked about it, but we are going to start live networking once a month. Um, I, we've all been live for three years, but we've been doing it basically virtual. So now we're going to, um, we're going to open that door again. And I think we're going, I think it's going to work. I think I'm very excited about it. So um, those are my wins. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to you bringing back some great information from uh, the Salt Lake City trip as well. So do share because there is so much uh, wonderful 
uh, resources and information to be offered through send out cards. And it really feeds into that building wonderful relationships. So we'll be looking forward to hearing more from you, Jennifer. Thanks. Anybody else got any wins? Yeah, I have a win, uh, a win for today. Um, I was able to complete some um, some production for uh, one of my clients. I uh, was able to get into a, um, you know, it was able to get into a studio and do some um, some voiceover work uh, for one of my clients. So um, that was a win, and um, you know, just taking it day by day, uh, you know, a little bit of production, a little bit of post production every day, and you know, just catching up with all with all the work that that has to be done. Awesome. I'm I'm always I. When I see you, Robert, you you always seem to be full of energy. And I imagine what you do is not an easy task. Yeah. So I, I will uh, I'm gonna guess that it is, you know, part passion and just part, you know, uh, your love of what you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Very That's cool. It and it's and it's great to be to feel that accomplishment. Of, of getting something done and staying on top of things and organized to be able to, uh, you know, be ready and uh, prepared for that next opportunity that comes your yes, way. So definitely. awesome. Awesome. Nancy, any wins on your end? Marketplace closed down. Yay! <laughs> for the year. Okay. So it's awesome. kind of much. Pressure's off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, for me, I'm going to share. I um, I got a message, a text message on my personal phone, and um, someone was reaching out to me saying, "I'm sorry for reaching you on your personal phone." It was for a travel business. They said, you know, I sent you an email and we didn't get a response. We were referred by XYZ. And, um, and I responded, you know, I'd be happy to help you. I'm sorry I didn't get your email previously. Um, and the referral came from someone that uh, a, a wonderful lady, that uh, wonderful friend that I haven't seen or worked with in years, though. So, um, of course, I responded that, yes, I'd love to help. Um, let's let's talk. But I also reached back to the referral and, and sent them a message like, thank you so much for thinking of me, you know. And she responded, Dawn, you they're they're very dear friends of mine. And you are the only one that I trust to help them with this. That just made me feel wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely. So, uh, of course, I go, I, I try to go above and beyond in meeting the needs of all of my clientele. I certainly will with this project. So I am so looking forward to them, uh, helping them with this international trip that they are planning for 2024. So that's got me pretty what, excited. What country are they going to? Ireland. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. All righty. Well, um, moving on, uh, let's talk about, I know Jennifer has already shared uh, an update from the TTR networking level about our in-person event that's planned for next month. Um, is there, are there any other TTR networking updates that you want to share with the group tonight, Jennifer? Um, well, I know that we're still trying to, um, put together the schedule for TTR Cares, which is your your baby, and we'll get that out soon. Um, for Robert, I don't know if he knows about what TTR Cares is about, but um, that has been a, you know, that's something we want. We've always been about giving back. Um, that was part of our roots many years ago when we started, Robert, and um, giving back to local nonprofits and just trying to um and there's a there's a lot of story that goes with TTR's beginnings of how that started and all we've done over the years um so um 
Dawn is the mother of our TTR Cares project. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she'll update us as life goes on there. But um, we do have, um, let me think, I sent it on to Nicole, but we are, one of our first things is in April, or one of our, one of our things that we do, April 29th, we have a member that's the Indiana Parkinson Foundation director, which Robert, you met her um, when you visited the North Side group. And uh, she, is, she used to be the leader of the group, but I've taken back over that because she is so busy right now. Uh, but anyway, we try to support our members who are parts or who are members of other um, organizations um, or nonprofits. So that is, we, they have um, the Indiana Parkinson Foundation has on April 29th, they have their annual walk run that happens in Fishers there at, is it Witten Park or Saxony? Sa but it's Witten Park in Saxony, I think it is. But anyway, so that, and I will make sure that is one of those things. Um, people do not actually have to be there in person they can uh, they can virtually um, donate or or you know whatever. Um, for some reason, I believe, and I'll have to put that down. Um, I did not I did not set us up as a we have a team, so you can go to the choose to move. I think it's choose to move race. I don't know. It, you can even go to the Indiana Parkinson Foundation website and mm -hmm. find the link right there and then go in but we have a team I don't believe we're set up as a as a as a money maker that doesn't mean we don't want to we will I think I did it it was kind of complicated when I set up the team but the team is set up so if you'd like to be part of it you want to do something really cool on April 29th which is a Saturday morning get out take a nice walk <laughs> It's a beautiful walk, but it's also a good cause to be part of. So, um, so that would be one thing. Um, and then we do have once a month, we have TTR uh, Presents. Uh, we're trying to keep that going as well. We had a great one just a week or a week ago with Robert Bonjour, who's our, our uh, global partner. Um, our only one right now, but our first one as well. And he did it. He did a really good job. I know, Nancy, you were on there for a little bit. Um, the goal of this, of any of our TTR presents is to give a, to give a platform to our members to share their expertise. It may not be in the area that they are actually even in the group in, uh, but Robert is a printer. He's, um, his grandparents started a printing company 59 years ago in their basement and he is now part of the company and I thought it was kind of interesting because um, until he started they hadn't done a lot of things um, that he he kind of helped them innovate kind of um, I guess that's the best way to but and they just recently got a way that you can pay online which is really bizarre to me that they've been around for years and they're just now doing that but but it was all about um, our theme of the month. So right now I'm trying to get our, our uh, TTR presents in February. It may be Deb Miller, because if anybody remembers, she was scheduled in October and she had to go off to, yes. to Florida. Yeah, and she's our, so Robert, we have Deb Miller, who is a um, emergency response um, person. And she helps people make plans and she does all kinds of, but it's ready habits. It's like being prepared in an emergency. Anyway, she um, was going to do a family. What was it called? Family. I had it out here a minute ago, but it's family um, emergency preparedness thing. And we were going to do it in October, had it scheduled and she got deployed off to Florida to help with the, um, when Ivan, Ivan. Yeah came through so it's just kind of funny because it's like we don't bring you just anybody we bring you the people that are on the front lines of the and she ended up going for a few days and then she's been sick she had covid she's doing much better now but um anyway having said all that 
Um, that is one of those things we're doing. So you always can go to our website at uh, ttrnetworking.com, scroll down to the side and there's a news and events tab. And we try to keep that as up to date as possible, but it's also out on our social media. And so, um, and we have, a, um, I forgot that one next Friday at the Haverstick. Um, we have our open networking that the Westfield Chamber has been doing. And I think they right now, not Westfield Chamber, sorry, Westfield Networking Group. And I think right now they've got something like 12 people signed up. I mean, that blows my mind. I don't even know if it's just because it's January or what, but even if half of those people would come to this meeting, it would be a really it'd be definitely worth your time to come out. So if you've not been to the Haver Stick, you wanna check it out. You do not have to be a member of the group. It's just um, just kind of a neat opportunity to, to get together. And like I said, we're gonna be doing more of that, but those are the things that are going on right now, Dawn, so, okay. Great, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Um couple of things I just want to remind the group about, of course, uh, for updates about any of the happenings like Jennifer was sharing, please visit the TTR networking website. Um, that is at uh, to the rescue.com. Uh, check out the Collaborating Connections Facebook page as well. Um, all of the, the happenings we try to update on our own Facebook page. And even now, thanks to Robert Haley and his input, we are also posting on LinkedIn. So for those who are in social media, but not necessarily uh, Facebookers or uh, Instagrammers, et cetera, uh, I know LinkedIn is a more professionally oriented social media site, and we are all about business and building relationships, being social. So uh, that is our LinkedIn page, a Collaborating Connections LinkedIn page is also now active and uh, engaged. So check us out there. Dawn, yes. Can I one correction? To the rescue I N. So if you just put to the rescue.com, you're gonna probably end up on some kind of animal rescue website or something, but that or ttrnetworking.com. So either one of those, but you have to put the I N on the end. That's all. Okay. Thank you. TTR networking or to the rescue written out I N. Dot com. That, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a couple of things that I just want to make sure to share with you. Um, hey, it's, it's January 2023. You owe you. And we are here each week to help each other get the most out of what we know and learn that we all that we are capable of. So, um, I hope that, that everyone on the call and listening to the recording gets some benefits, some wonderful uh, golden nuggets from um, time spent uh, on a weekly basis with Collaborating Connections. Um, something that I read recently on LinkedIn uh, is that, you know, starting a business that will survive 2023 and beyond needs good preparation, a strong network, enough funds for the first two or three years um, to be, to remain in operation without, you know, big profits, um, a business idea that will not become obsolete quickly, and a need to be an entrepreneur with the mentality of a boxer in that you can take a few punches and still get up on your feet again. So something to keep in mind, uh, I know that we are all are all here with a um, survival and success mentality. So um, pat yourselves on the back for that. To reiterate, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> yeah. Uh, to reiterate, the To the Rescue um, was not just an idea, you know, pulled out of a hat. The Rescue is an ac acronym 
of the values of the TTR networking organization. The R is all about relationships, and we speak that all the time, that we are all about building wonderful relationships, lasting and useful, beneficial relationships. The E is for education. As we show up, and share not only about our businesses, but things that we know, things that are helpful to each of us as business owners, managers, and consumers. Uh, we are all sharing and benefiting from education. The S is for success strategies. And as we are chatting, uh, on a weekly basis, I hope that everybody feels uh, compelled to share what works for you. Uh, when we acknowledge the wins at the beginning of the call, you know, sometimes embedded in there are success strategies. What keeps us going? What brings a smile to our face? What compels us to keep doing what we do? So uh, the C is for community. And we have talked that we are not only interested in our own success, but in the success of others around us within our community. Uh, and we want to help nonprofits and community groups thrive, not just survive. Uh, we want to give back to those who have supported us or uh, support a purpose that means a lot to us. The U is for understanding. So we're not only speaking, sharing, but listening to each other and trying to gain a better understanding of each other and ourselves. And the last E is for execute. Um, you know, all of this would be for naught if we don't get out on a daily basis and work our business, do our best, take some chances, some risks sometimes, and, and just, just do it. Just work with passion, work with our knowledge, and, and just continue to be our best in our, our own selves and our businesses. So that's what we're all about. Um, next, I think I'd like for us to go ahead and start with our roundtable introductions. And um, something that I got from Jennifer in, in one of her emails, if you could not only tell us about yourself and your business, but tell us what type of uh, referral uh, or connection you may be looking for. And if you could also share, if you have a word for this 2023 year that kind of summarizes um, your expectations or um, your goals, what would that word be? So uh, we will go ahead and get started. I'm going to invite Jennifer Johnson. Are you ready to introduce yourself in your business? Oh, sure. I am Jennifer Johnson, a little bit goofy. I was sitting here thinking, I no matter what, Every time that we get to that moment, I'm always a little panicked. Oh, no, I got to say this. But I am a, I'm Jennifer Johnson. I'm the founder of TTR Networking. Um, now that is in their, we're our 12th year. And um, I basically am a relationship marketing coach that's going to get certified this weekend. Thank you. Uh -huh. I position you to stay top of mind in authentic ways, creating your helping you create personal yet professional connections and making you your client's first choice. So, um, you know, how, I mean, th there's a lot of different strategies, different tools you can use to do that. Um, basically just to keep you in front of your prospects and networking is one of the um, ways we do that, obviously. So that all these people that you're meeting um, we'll really truly get to know you and trust you. Um, all that kind of stuff that's very important before they're willing to then open their black book and give you their contacts names uh, or vice, you know, you know, it's just, I think we, I trust is one of the biggest things. So anyway, um, who do you know that's out there who is, um, you know, who's, trying to get a business going and just can't quite figure out how to do it. They have knocked on 
they, you know, we all got to that point when we first started, you know, they've called on all their client or all their, their family and friends, and they're just kind of lost. They don't know how to make those other connections because life is busy. So we at TTR can help them. We create, you all know the reasons that Don and you all put on that, that list of things, but um, who do you know that's out there that needs this? Um, we are happy to have them come and visit. So, and then if they decide to join us, we will welcome them as well, even more. So, all right. Oh, my husband. What's bought. your word? Oh, uh, my word. Okay. For TTR, I think it is, um, oh my goodness, blossom, which sounds kind of girly. But I think I said that before and I didn't get anybody who was jumping up and down. But I feel like we have finally, we are, we, we've been planted. <laughs> now we just need to, to grow. I don't want it to sound like we just need to grow in numbers. We need to grow in, in, sounds so girly, but grow in deeper relationships with each other, with, um, you know, just learning how to do more of that, not just say we're doing it. My word for me, though, I think is, um, oh, oh, there was another word. Um, I guess it's bloom. I don't know. It's kind of the same thing. I feel like it's just, you know, three years of the pandemic has worn us all out. And I think everybody's kind of like, it's not going anywhere. We've just got to, you know, just got to keep moving forward and anyway so I think that's my word did was that the question though that you were asking I was about, asking yeah what's your word for 2023 that that represents you know your goals and your expectations and yeah I think and I think you said something kind of like yeah that represents um I just want us to be the best at what we do and I don't know that there's anybody else out there doing quite what we're doing. It's just we've got to, as a as a family <laughs> or a team or a whatever, we just got to get out there and tell more people about what we're doing so that they can they can come and visit it and right. see if, you know, if it works. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions for Jennifer Johnson? No questions. What? <laughs> okay. That's All fine. right. We will keep it moving. Uh, let's see. Nancy Vesley, are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? Okay. So before I forget, my word of the, for 2023 is elevate. Yes. Good word. No, es no escalate. Escalate. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Good for you. Is I think, yep. So um, I'm Nancy Vesley, IHC Specialty Benefits, local licensed health insurance agent. Marketplace is now closed unless you have a life event that would open it up for you individually. Um, so right now, what I have to offer people without health insurance are short-term plans if you don't have any pre-existing conditions or and supplements all over the place. If for every... for a health expense. They don't help you with prescriptions. I don't have anything for prescriptions, unfortunately, which is really weird. They have everything but. Mm -hmm. But um, the only thing I, I've got suggestions on if you have prescription issues, because a lot of seniors run into pay rent or buy their prescription at some point in time. And it's like, we can help those people. We can possibly help have them turn them around and just have them call um, the manufacturers. A lot of manufacturers have things on their website for uh, prescriptions that would help them cover the cost of those or good RX. Yeah. They might have to shop and you'd be surprised how much, you know, one prescription you'd have to get at CVS. The other one you could get at Kroger, you know, you shop around some of your prescriptions and it would help, it could help you reduce costs. And that type of thing, if they're, and it, that's if they're capable of doing that. 
but that would be the only option I would have for um, prescriptions. Um, mm -hmm. Right now they're pushing life insurance and Aflac. So those are op open and those are supplements. So we can do those at any time. And that's it. And Jennifer, your word is very girly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it is girly. I can't help it. <laughs> it's, I'm a girl. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nancy Vesley. Um, as always, you uh, not only tell us, you know, what you're about, but you share some little tidbits that we can share with those uh, who are having concerns or have particular needs, such as you mentioned with uh, with uh, pharmacy um, getting prescriptions filled. So thanks again for that wonderful information. If you don't mind, can you please share what life events would trigger an opportunity to be able to uh, get health insurance mid-year or- On the marketplace? Yeah. Um, if you're moving, if you lose your coverage, if you have a baby, not if you're pregnant, but if you have a baby, <laughs> I have no idea. You can, then it would open up the marketplace to you. There's a couple more moving, lose your coverage. You, you, um, agent, uh, or out of coverage, possibly becoming, well, no, that wouldn't even get you to marketplace. That would get you to Medicare. I think there's five choices. I gave you three. <laughs> I don't remember the other okay. two. I, I'm just going to recommend that, that now that, you know, marketplace is closed, that if you put together some type of a, a marketing piece that includes some bullet points of, of those life events that make people um, eligible for uh, insurance, if they if they don't currently have it, that that would be something useful. And we'd be happy to post that on Collaborating Connections page. Okay, thank are you. There, are there any other questions for Nancy Vesley? Okay, um, let me move on to Robert Dokes. Are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Robert Dokes, Chief Videographer at KSD Pro One, uh, your promotional video solution. And our mission is to assist businesses, business owners and nonprofit organizations with creating videos aimed at their target audience establish trust and credibility, and ultimately convert those viewers into customers or potential donor support. Uh, we accomplish this by implementing video marketing strategies aimed to drive engagement in the videos we create. Uh, if a picture is worth a thousand words, uh, how many words is a video worth? Uh, and the answer is there is no limit to what a video can speak to the masses. It is the ultimate tool for marketing. Um, so uh, KSD Pro One has over eight years of experience in creating promotional videos for nonprofit organizations and business owners uh, that have brought uh, awareness to their cause, increased their funding through donor support and customers, and has also increased their brand awareness. So we are here to fulfill any uh, video production uh, needs from as simple as editing content that you already have uh, to collaborating with you on a custom promotional video. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Robert, what's your word for 2023? Uh, my word for 2023 is consistency. It's actually kind of funny though, Dawn. Yeah. Um, CB, wasn't it consistency last week was his word of the week or word of the year? Yes, yeah. where he's not consistent, he's not here. <laughs> but he was completely <laughs> honest. He said, I've got to be, you know, I've got to have somebody making me. Wasn't it? Con it was consistency, yes. I think. Yes, that is, you know. So, is that what you have? I'm just jumping in there, Robert. Is yeah. that why you're using it to? to keep, you know, have people keep you consistent? Or I mean, obviously keeping yourself consistent. Well, consistency for, for, for me and a term that I'm using it in is to 
just stay consistent on all aspects as it relates to KSD Pro One. Uh, when it comes to marketing, uh, when it comes to, you know, posting and and things of that nature. So for, for me, it's more of a of a marketing, a marketing strategy to stay consistent, just to keep uh, the brand of KSD Pro One in front of um, as many faces as possible. Thank you. Do we have any questions for Robert Dokes in KSD Pro One? Um, are those pictures behind you pictures you took Robert uh no no those are <laughs> those are photos that I've picked up from places so no those are not photos I took <laughs> well you could pretend like they were so I know right right behind you is that Marilyn Monroe that is and then the Eiffel Tower and then a um old school uh camera it's very cool background, considering that you do what you do. It's a very oh, thank you. <laughs> sure you know that that's why you did it, right? You're yeah, that's, that's 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 why it was all <laughs> intentional. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell us because we're all friends here. But yeah. boy, I can imagine somebody else would probably be like, "Wow, look at that! He's really good." And they probably <laughs> wouldn't ask you. Not saying you're not good, but that is right. That, yeah, that's really good. That's pretty cool. Thank I you. knew when, I, when they when Don when you first started speaking, I was like, "Oh, those pictures are cool." And then when Don was so, that's my question, not too <laughs> tough. But thank you. Any other questions for Robert Dotes? Okay. Hey, Robert Haley, are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? Oh yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. How you doing? Sorry for my delay. Uh, just coming back from a few things. Uh, Robert Haley with Old National Bank, uh, Community Development Mortgage Loan Officer. Uh, my job I, is to my task is to really spend time with our low to moderate income folks to help them them to be homeowners. Really, uh, anyone that's uh, renting or not a homeowner, I really like to say that you're uh, more so trying to create the really stop to uh, create a housing wealth for them, housing wealth. And that's really the gap with our low, our black and brown folks uh, there itself. And I spend that time uh, helping them to uh, educate, not just to be a homeowner, but also to maintain themselves there. Uh, I've been doing this business over 25 years, uh, wealth of knowledge in that sense. And my programs I have with us in, internally, it's definitely helping folks uh, with money, uh, with down payment assistance, uh, those who don't have some, some, some closing costs itself. So really trying to put our money where our mouth is at and, and, and making this happen for most folks out there. Uh, anyone referrals, anyone that's looking, anyone, anyone could be a, uh, is a potential referral. Uh, no matter where they are, I kind of pick them where they are and help them to get to, to the other side of the, of the pond, as one may say. Uh, again, Robert Hay with Old National Bank. Awesome. Thank you so much, Robert Haley. Do we have any questions for Robert Haley this evening? Uh, Robert, I saw a um, somewhere on social media a message about uh, home interest rates are coming down, but <laughs> they are not going to be back at that two and three percent. Um, and, and that's simply because, you know, inflation is not going to fall to those numbers. Uh, but I always love to prod you to share that even right now, it's it's a great time to pursue a mortgage. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not a homeowner and you, you should not worry about the rates itself because you're not investing in yourself. You're in a home, a rent that you're renting, a, you know, a house or apartment. That money is that you're spending right now is going towards someone else. Uh, so you think about it this way. So whether you be there one year or five years, look at it yourself and say, "Hey, if this is a way for me to get into your home, let me get there." Because now I'm now investing in myself, put an investment, put an investment in me that down the road would be three years or five years down the road. You're now paying down a mortgage and you're paying building equity for yourself to use or uh, tap into at a later date down the road. Uh, the rates itself uh, historically still are uh, still are good because the market average loan rate out there now mortgage have up there's about five percent rates are about right now on a 30-year mortgage uh 
really is about six, six, six and a half there itself. So you're still in the in a ballpark. Uh, only thing different is that uh, you're not seeing two or three percent. Well, you didn't see two or three percent anyway, unless you had it was a eight something credit score putting down twenty percent, uh, putting down twenty percent or more. That's one way you tapped into it anyway. And if you did do it, get it down there. You, you, you bought all, you'd use a lot of discount points to get down there. So let's, uh, so to be, let's historically look at, let's realistically look at your footprint and what did you qualify and what would you qualify today? So let's, so don't get caught up in the news of the, of the, uh, of the commercials, but cause that is not talking to you at all, unless you, uh, that, that person. And if you are that person, read the small print, it tells you what you need to qualify for that when they were two and a half, 3% rates. So. Awesome. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, and what's your word for 2023? Well, uh, uh, Robert, my namesake, he took my word, consistency. That's really it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so consistency is it because from my standpoint, it's not that you lack anything, but consistently staying in front of people, clients, and that getting educating them in front of every time, every opportunity you get, be consistently telling the story of how why housing wealth was needed and why they should be homeowner, why they should be investing in themselves. So really the same, so same approach he does. It's not that I'm lacking or anything, but more so consistently making sure that you're talking to everybody that you come in contact with to understand why you're not a homeowner, why you're not, how can I help you? Being consistent in that front, trying to move them forward. Yes. Got it. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, not a problem. I have a question, Robert. When you um get someone a home, do you have a work out the budget to make sure they can afford like the house insurance and everything? That's before they even go before we before I put you into in front of a realtor, I make sure that you can afford your home. Uh, I kind of I do have people send me over the documentation and need pay stub W2s, uh bank statements, all that to calculate what they would qualify for, as well as show them what how much house they can buy and really educate them about one, really trying to keep your debt rates as low as you possibly can. And, that's really, sometimes they may have some bills, they, a car loan or credit card, which most times is car loan and credit cards that folks need to put more emphasis on versus put putting flip, flipping around, put more emphasis on, on home ownership. That should be your major, your biggest biggest investment out of, out of everything you're doing. Cool. Thanks again, Robert. You're more than welcome. Let's see, I guess it's my turn. Uh, again, my name is Dawn Evans Casey. My word for 2023 is harmonize. Ooh. And, uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Good when, word. When I was thinking of my word, I was thinking of all of the various endeavors that I'm involved in, um, all of the things that I have a passion for that I enjoy. And I know in 2023, I don't want to uh, sacrifice any of those things. Um, I want to coordinate them, um, you know, organize them appropriately. Uh, the word harmonize gave me the impression of uh, being in agreement in action and emotion. So of all the things that I'm doing, I want to make 2023 an awesome year, um, you know, give the appropriate time and attention to each of my endeavors and um, um, just make sure that, that uh, there's, I guess, a a pleasing result, a, a good overall balance um, that I continue to enjoy and grow and um, and everything works well together. So harmonize just jumped out at me for, uh, for my word for 2023. Um, with that in mind, I'll share my company uh, or companies that, that I'm representing. Uh, first is Spa Travel. I've been doing that for about seven years now. Um, and it is a home-based business. But while I was busy in corporate America, running around doing all the traveling, I, I found how much I enjoyed the, the industry, uh, enjoyed the action and I wanted to help other people have a very enjoyable, relaxing travel experience. So it just seemed like a no-brainer. 
I found a wonderful host agency, uh, got my certification, learned the ins and outs, and now I get to save individuals time and energy and frustration by by doing the, the background work, talking to vendors, um, getting them, uh, keeping them within budget, um, exposing them to some wonderful sites, and, um, and hopefully they'll wanna do that again and again. Um, another one of my companies and, or my passions is related to genealogy and family history. So I was able to leverage my travel with uh, going out and and meeting new family members and digging into my own family history and showing other people how they can initiate a family history project, um, how they can get the most out of those conversations with their relatives to, to find, turn over those stones and, and find the, the missing pieces to their uh, family histories. So that's something that I love to do. And my husband and I do that through a nonprofit called claiming your roots. Um, even in addition to that, I have uh, a, a true love for chocolate. And uh, while I love to travel and enjoy chocolate from all over the world, um, I have found a way, even though I'm limited um, health-wise based upon my, my uh, diabetes diagnosis, I, can, I have learned how to still enjoy chocolate, uh, the sweet, wonderful thing, and maintain my health and wellness. So uh, through a blog called Cheerful Chocolate Spirit, I'm able to, to work and, and share uh, quips and recipes and experiences all related to my love of chocolate. So all of that, I continue to harmonize throughout 2023, uh, continue to share with those who are interested in any of those topics, genealogy, travel, or chocolate. And uh, that's me in a nutshell, Dawn Evans Casey, Spa Travel, Claiming Your Roots, and Cheerful Chocolate Spirit. Does anyone have any questions that I might be able to answer tonight? I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about Ireland. <laughs> My question yeah. is, what kind of price do you think a trip that would cost going to Ireland? Any guess? I mean, guesstimate, what do you think? What are you aiming at? Well, I, I'm not sure what their budget is just yet. So um, it, it's hard to tell. You know, you can go... Uh, you know, uh, a young person with a limited budget can go to Ireland. Um, anybody can can get up and go. It just depends on what type of an experience that you want to have. You know, whether you're staying in hostels or find a host family or staying in luxury hotels, uh, depending <laughs> on whether you want to, um, you know, tour the well-known uh, museums and things and, and eat at a fine restaurant for that experience or whether you're willing to, um, to eat at the, you know, the, the corner pub in the small town and, and have the real experience of the land. Um, the options are really wide open, but uh, the, the most expensive, uh, you know, the given is the airfare to get to uh, a foreign land. But once you're there, it depends on what size your budget is and what you have a desire to experience and how you want to experience um, that foreign land that's going to dictate those costs. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? All righty. Well, I had previously mentioned that month of January and joining is the theme in January. And I know that we have previously talked about, um, you know, reasons to join, such as joining collaborating connections, the reasons to join a, a networking group. Um, and those that that list of reasons, I believe that we are circulating and, and kind of fine tuning. But I know that within this group, we felt pretty comfortable with, with that information. I wanted to share tonight 
um, things to follow up, questions that should be asked, perhaps in that one-in-one -on -one experience, whether you are uh, a newbie who is considering joining a networking group or whether you are a seasoned member, you know, talking to um, a new person, a prospective uh, member. So I wanna share these, this list of questions and kind of give you some background on when you schedule a follow-up conversation with any of our guests this month, or when you schedule a follow-up with one of our current members, some of that um, discussion that might lead, uh, some of the questions that might lead the discussion. So number one, um, for the, the pers new perspective, they might ask, well, why did you join TTR Networking? You know, we mentioned there, there are other networking organizations that are out and available. Um, some meet once a month, some meet in person, some meet virtually, um, some put a lot of emphasis on passing the referrals or, or giving referrals to each other. Some put more emphasis in other areas. But one of the questions that a prospective looking at a networking group would want to know is, you know, for those current members, why did you join TTR Networking? From the perspective of the current member, you may be asking the prospective, what are you looking for in a networking group? We previously had a conversation around the fact that there are some individuals who don't even realize how networking could benefit, haven't really considered uh, what they're looking for or what they need to be a part of. So um, it's it can be a challenging question, but it will cause that individual to think about, well, what are my priorities? What are my expectations? And what organizations out there meet those needs? So with that being said, those two questions, why did you join TTR Networking? And what are you looking for in a networking group? I'm gonna kind of open the floor to discussion about that topic in itself. Anybody? Yeah, I'll, I'll kick it off. So um, I know I haven't officially uh, joined uh, TTR, uh, but, you know, my whole main reason for, for um, you know, uh, participating and being a part of it is for additional exposure outside of my current circle. Um, it gives me an opportunity to connect with, um, you know, people that I may not even have an opportunity to connect, to connect with if, I don't set myself outside of my traditional circle. So um, that's one of the reasons why um, um, I'm going to be a part of TTR. I mean, let's just keep it real. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's that's one of the reasons why, you know, I, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I come back and uh, why well, I came back and I'll probably be on a be on a call in the morning as well. But just that that opportunity to expose my to expose uh, KSD Pro One outside of its current circle uh, is the whole reason. Wonderful. Thanks for sharing. No problem. So, Robert, did you know that? Remind me, Don. Did you get connected to Robert? Because yes. Okay. Robert uh, is a part of another um, networking group on social media. And okay. I, I just happened when I joined that group and started sharing some collaborating connections information, his posts in particular jumped out at me. And I thought, hey, uh, let me reach out to him and see if he'd be interested in right. meeting up with us and, and sharing. Cool. OK, I was just going to say I. I didn't know how the connection was. If people, we've had that conversation. Don even referred to it. We just don't. There's a lot of people I don't think that even know what this is. You know that this is something that you could do. I mean, it, you know, you might end up sitting with people in a chamber event, or uh, maybe you're, you know, with your kid at a soccer game and you're talking to some other people. But 
there, you know, when you actually get out there and start realizing, oh my, when you start knowing that people are going to networking groups, it's kind of like, wow, this, you know, the doors, but um, I guess I was just wondering, Robert, if what other groups you were doing, and I know you and I talked about it mm -hmm. a little bit, but um, yeah, it, it, you hope that people are, are aware of it. And if they don't know, you hope that there's some, you know, you're, because I hope everybody goes out and kind of listens to their, you know, people in their office or, or I don't know, you know what I mean? Just in their, their world, because when you find, like I said, when you find out this stuff is going on, it's like, how did, how do you're supposed to find this out if you don't go and ask? And if you, you might not be asking, you know, because you don't even know what's out there. So I mean, it's kind of a weird thing to say it that way, but you get what I'm saying. So I'm glad that you found us, Robert, and both Roberts. Um, Robert Haley's been around us for quite a few, quite a few meetings, I think, a few years anyway. So we're very happy to have you. And it's just people who get it, you know, who understand. So it doesn't matter really how big your group is certainly we want it to you know we always want them to be growing but I like I said I want people to really bloom and or blossom where they are with whom is in the group and just be you know just asking questions of each other you know that you never know who somebody knows and it could be that you know it's one thing the other Robert Bonjour said last week he said one connection in the north side group has led to and that was laura rao i don't know if you remember her don mm -hmm. but laura's been in a number of industries but she literally introduced and connected robert to somebody who's written five books and they printed all of those books for this person and that was wow. one connection yeah i mean it's one wow. connection so, you know, it, it doesn't always happen like that, but I do mm -hmm. believe if you, what you send out comes back. If you come in here and you're excited and you're ready to, um, like you said, Robert, expand your, you know, your network, getting more exposure, but then you're also, you're meeting Don, you're meeting Robert, you're meeting Nancy, and these people are great referrals, great trusted referral partners for you then to know if you run into somebody that needs that, you know, you can trust these people, you know, right. that that's the other part of it. And I, I think, you know, everybody in this group would probably say the same thing about each other um, in that respect, but that is a big, big plus, you know, that you have trusted people in your network that you have no problem sending people to. Um, I don't know that you can say that all the time. Go ahead, Don. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just co-signing. Absolutely. That's, that's the way it works. Um, yeah. I know uh, at the referral that I was speaking about when I was talking about my wins, I happened to help my friend years ago. Um, she was in Florida and it, there was um, a tropical storm and uh, she tried to travel back to Indiana, but was unable to get out of the airport. So she just needed, you know, uh, to stay in a hotel there somewhere safe. And, and I made all those arrangements for her. And she appreciated, you know, what I did for her at the last minute. And when she made that comment, like, Dawn, you know, you're the only one that I trust to take care of my friends as they're preparing for this trip. That's... Um, those are the types of, of relationship, uh, awesome relationships that, uh, that get built through networking and, um, and, and you maintain it. And uh, I was also going to make a comment about the consistency. Uh, consistency is what brought me to and kept me with TTR Networking. The fact that this is a group that that meets on a weekly basis, um, that we're, you know, constantly in touch, talking, working together, collaborating, making recommendations and suggestions. You know, it's not just a, oh, hi, how are you every now and then, but this is a consistent, consistent networking effort. That's what made the, the difference for me 
um, when I was looking for a networking home. So, uh, and, and it has really paid off. I've, I've been here now. Uh, I was part of three groups in the beginning and then transitioned to leading a group at myself. This has been a wonderful experience. And, uh, you know, that's my joining TTR networking. When, when I met uh, Jennifer years ago, had no idea, had no idea what, you know, what I was really getting into initially, but uh, it has been a wonderful experience. Oh, you poor woman. Uh, <laughs> um, the um, and and the, and I would just throw it out there, and I I'm sure Robert Haley and Nancy Munn have heard me say this before, but I used to kind of apologize that we met every week. I felt like because that's one of the first questions people will ask you. Um, so how often do you meet? Because the minute you say every week, people just kind of, oh, I don't know if I can do that. You know, I know that we've had members that started out that way and then they understood after they got into it. But I really think it does boil down to consistency, repetition. You know, Nancy might in, a, you know, in a month, anybody, I'm just using Nancy as an example, but, you know, we might hear the same basic thing from Nancy, but every week she gives us a little different twist a little something else to consider and it's that weekly reminder but also oh she's also looking for this or she you know all of us can tell little stories about some of our successes like Dawn just did about her her friend and you know I mean those are the things if we only got together once a month, even every other week would be confusing. I don't know if you all, you probably all are members of other groups that meet only monthly. And, um, you know, you're always trying to backtrack to remind yourself even what that person's name is, because if they miss a month for some reason, then you've got, you know, it's two months before you, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of so yes, it's a weekly thing, but we also are very understanding that, you know, those weekly things can, you know, there are other things can happen. So we certainly hope that everybody will make it a, a, a priority yes. to be here because it can turn into five books that you publish or something, but it might not. But, you know, the goal, the goal is certainly to uh, be adults and and take it as a responsibility. You know, you've, you've joined this organization, you, you know, it's part of it. So anyway, Don, you know, I mean, I'm not telling you anything, but there you go. Awesome. Yeah. Anybody else? Comments? Yeah, I'll comment there too, John. When I think about networking, when I joined the group itself, it's, uh, it was not to, I've been to a lot of groups and it, and it became transactional. And that's what you, one of the things was the biggest turnoff, transactional uh, networking. Really, you're not building anything. You're not, it's just a one, is a hit wonder. Maybe you, maybe, maybe not. But if you want to build, uh, I think referral based uh, referral is something that you know. Getting, being part of a, a network group that let, lets you, one, get to know each other spend time with each other really and, and really have something to, to give you back. Because if you think about what we do is as TTR net, networking, there's a lot of things that, that offer that, that, that we can take advantage of if we take advantage of it and still we have to do it. But the most important part overall is being part of the group, coming consistently, being here consistently every time being so that for one, get to know each other, create organically grow a relationship that way. And then understanding what someone offered because I can't refer nothing to Robert over there. If I don't know him, I know his name. I know KSD, but how do I know what he does? I don't have anything, have nothing to tangible, nothing at all there to know. But how I get to know him is one, being him, he consistently being here. He said, hey, okay, he made a con conscious effort to make it, make it be part of what it is. He's not transactional. So that for that level of trust now, the guards come down enough. Okay, he's here. Now I'm going to get to know him a little bit more. More he come in and share, he talk about different things he's doing. You learn a little bit more about him and vice versa. And, as, and, that's, and over time, it moves to the point where now a referral becomes more natural because when I'm thinking about somebody wanting to video argue, I'm going to think of him because 
it's natural for me because that's who he is versus me trying to say, well, let me think about that for a minute. Then it's easy for me to trust to send someone over. But most importantly, as we all do, if we take advantage of what TTR is offering that a lot of our networking group, we offer a lot of things to get people to help better themselves. So that's one of the things that we all should take advantage of and really spend time, uh, like I think I always say to you guys, they continue to remind people of what's available to them to, to do, to take advantage of, to really get involved in, in, in any of those spotlights we do. Those things just to help you move forward. Uh, it's not transactional. It's really to help you to organically move yourself forward and help you move you better, closer to your, move you on your business itself. Uh, so that's what I love about what we do. And that's why I stay here. That's why I do what I do. And You're a good man. My two cents. Hey, I'll pay you later, Robert. That was a good, <laughs> that, was, that was nice. Um, yeah. When you just said that, oh, that is what Robert Haley has been talking about for a long time is the mm -hmm. benefits. And do we really, do we really talk about the benefits as much as we should? And we don't. So, because it's, it's the value of what we do offer. It's the value we can't under, we, we don't do a good job of share, telling the value of what this networking group offers. And that's the value. Most people, we, 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 let, we hope they see it. No, we want people to understand that is the value. Right. The value. Then, and then the benefit value is that you come and being a part of sharing what you do, learning, taking all you can, and getting time to know people. Taking right. time to get, coming every day, every week, that's where you get to know each other. And, you know, it may, it's, say if I'm, if I'm serious about, my business and my my networking part, this is a serious move that I'm able to move and network and around and take advantage of and be, in, and take, and be exposed to other people in this group all the time. Yeah. Yes. My two cents. Yes, and all I was with uh, Robert, I know that we are trying to, we're literally, I think we're, that's where I'm kind of the blossom and bloom. I feel like we finally got, I feel like I know what we do now we need to go out and tell people what we do. I think it's really easy, not easy. It's been very, um, it's kind of been muddy waters for me. I was like, well, I don't want to promise people referrals. I don't want to promise, you know, I don't want to make any kind of major predictions, but I will say if you come in with the right attitude and you understand that this is a give, you've got to give and then you'll eventually get to take you know, it may take a little while to get there, but I, I, I just, uh, Robert Haley, you have always been, um, you've always been about that. And the fact that you've stuck around, I appreciate that. And I know Don does too. And, um, yeah, but it's really, I, I never want to say that you come here to get referrals. No, you come here to better yourself, to really put your map, put your business on the map and, and, and learn and grow. And when you're naturally growing, then it become organic to what you, you, your referrals will come like anything mm -hmm. you can, join hundreds or go to me hundreds or hundreds of different e e networking groups and get nothing out of it. you you travel around and you get nothing out of it because guess what people refer on people who they know not because you you, you have a name of your business called photography or insurance or mortgage but if they know you that's where referrals happen that's okay. taking time because i don't I, I know anyone that i don't i can't speak of too many people where they just join and they got a bunch of referrals uh, no. And if they uh, did, if they did, they should be really worried about those because well, <laughs> they well, are probably well. just, you know, I used to get email. Well, I was an insurance agent. I'm sure Nancy could probably offer some words of that. You know, people are always trying to get better prices. They, do, you know, yeah. so they're thinking, well, I'll get as many quotes as I can. So they hear you do insurance and that's the first thing they think. Oh, she's going to be able to, hopefully she can get me a better, they don't know you until, you know, down the road, but they, insurance is one of those, but I agree with you completely, Robert. And I was not, be, Robert um, jokes, this is not saying anything bad about B&I, but they require referrals and there's nothing wrong with that, except that I've talked to many B&I members who so I wouldn't give a referral to that person in that group. I don't like that person. I'm never going to do that. Well, B and I expects that you're going to do that anyway. There's no way for them to police that. There's nothing they can do to, to control that. But that is the, you know, their ultimate thing is you're in that group. Anything that comes down the road that's a 
mortgage thing should go to Robert Haley. Robert Haley's a great guy, but you know, in a BNI group, if Robert Haley was not a good guy, I wouldn't send him referrals anyway. But in that group, they expect you to. Um, you know, I mean, like I said, nobody can really control that. But in that kind of an environment where you're required to give so many referrals in a certain amount of time, then you start creating imaginary referrals and all that kind of stuff that happens. So anyway, Robert looks like Robert Haley looks like he wants to add something. So I'll quit talking. Nope. No, you're good. I mean, I I, I get on my soapbox, but you know, because I think I think we just don't do a good job of of, uh, yeah. of telling the value of what we do, uh, and you really emphasize the value of what what what's available for folks when they do join, uh, and how they can better themselves by being a part. And if they transactional, they're not meant to be here anyway. If you're really looking to really grow yourself organically with a networking group, this is a place to be. Uh, you, oh. you can grow yourself personally as well as professionally uh, and and they will come you know in it it's just a matter of that is investing the time and in, in investing the time into the business itself and really that's it and so I always say invest in yourself and it will take care of itself and if you come just looking to train transactional uh, not so much you're not going to make it you're not you come you you'll find it be yourself being very disappointed no matter where you go to Thank well, you. I'm, I'm going to take Robert Haley's lead and, uh, you know, to our horn, uh, our TTR networking, our collaborating connections. Uh, what do we offer for those who may not know? You know, the warm referrals are awesome. Um, and, and we want to emphasize, you know, to visitors or anybody, uh, you know, don't ask for the warm referrals unless you're ready to execute, unless you're ready to follow through, because those warm referrals are gold. Those are, you know, uh, making a connection between, you know, a person with a need and and a trusted uh, vendor, supplier, business who who needs to meet that need. So that in its in, in, in one case, the warm referrals, yes, that's, that's what we do and love to do. But, and I'm like an infomercial, there's so much more. Uh, you know, there are innovative ideas that, that members come and put on the table. And it's, it's there for you to take advantage of. Hmm, well, that worked for my business. It seemed to work for theirs. Huh, I wonder what it took for them to implement that successfully. Maybe I should have a follow-up conversation and talk about it. Um, that's there. The marketing suggestions, uh, we talk about it often. Well, well, where are we posting and sharing and talking and showing? How are we doing it? For how long? What's the cost? Who do we have to engage to get it done? All of that is part of a routine discussion amongst uh, the members. So valuable information, rather than just being out there by yourself as an island, testing out things one by one, you get the rich knowledge and experience of others to contribute. Testimonials. Um, now that we get to know each other so much better, we also get to tell the world about each other through a testimony. You know, I, I meet and talk with this individual on a weekly basis. I know them well. I know their, their work ethic. I know their, uh, I may have used their product or service. Um, this is what really impressed me about their character. And those things go a long way. And you don't get that just by meeting somebody and exchanging a business card at, at an event. Um, it is based on building that, that wonderful relationship. And that's what we do as part of the, the TTR networking. Um, also inspiration and motivation. You know, each and every one of us have had those bad days where we just wanna throw our hands up and like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm fed up. Nancy's shaking her head when she got to that to the uh, to the date when 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 the market closed. Oh, I survived it. 
here we are with each other, meeting, talking, keeping each other inspired and motivated, you know, giving each other the pat on the back when we've done a great job, celebrating wins with each other. And, and that's, you really need that. You really need that to uh, keep the human spirit going. None of us are machines. We connect for learning. There is so much that's shared, uh, whether we're doing a formal presentation about our industry, whether we're giving, you know, an update about something that's been in the news about what we do, what we know, or whether we're sharing it from a more uh, a perspective of this is what happened to me as a consumer. And I want you guys to be aware of, watch out for, or know how to deal with it if it ever happens to you. We're, we're talking about that and sharing that all the time. Those are valuable nuggets as well. And we're giving recommended resources. And, you know, I came across this website. It was spot on. It was my answer to a, um, a customer management format. It was an answer to a communication problem that I had. Um, it really helped me iron out an issue that I was having within my business. And again, a lot of business, a lot of entrepreneurs and business managers are out there struggling on their island by themselves, and they just don't have to. If you have the rich resources of a networking group, some a trusted group that you can turn to, ask questions of, bounce out ideas off of, uh, laugh together, stay inspired. That's you know all of the wonderful stuff that we get out of weekly meetings. I don't know if you guys have anything else you want to add to that, but that's a lot of stuff to me. A, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. That's great. That's great. Did I exhaust the list? Is there no more? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I see that our time is at 731. Um, and, and I want to thank you all for being here this evening and talking and sharing. Uh, we've had another great meeting. There were uh, some folks that I had anticipated would be joining us this evening, and I'm just going to follow up to make sure that they weren't having any problems with Zoom, um, encourage them to view this recording and to join us again in the future. And Robert Dokes, I want to say welcome. I'm excited about you uh, making that commitment to, to join and be a part of TTR Networking. We're really looking forward to talking with you more and learning even more about your business as well. Most definitely. Most definitely. Okay. It would be great if we could get Will in here and um, CB and I mean, because just the between the Roberts and I mean, there would be so much, so much brain power running around here. Nancy, I'm not saying you're chopped liver. I'm just saying that, you know, the guys. You want more, more guys in here than girls? Come on, not, Jennifer. Not really, not really. But, uh, but, you know, it could happen. It could happen. And I would just put it out to all of us, you know, what is it? I mean, Robert jokes real quickly. There are a lot of benefits that we have not shared with you. One of the bigger ones is um, the Profit Acceleration Roadmap. And, uh, and just remind me, I'll, I'll let you know about that. That's a, one of our members does that as a free service for our members. Um, and it's a really wonderful thing, but it's really on the outs. If you're not a member, it's a thousand dollars, I think, to do it. It's an amazing, amazing tool, but we don't do a great job of sharing those things. Thank you, Robert Haley, for reminding us. Thank you to keep plugging toward that. That's our goal. Yep, yep. All yep. right, everyone. Well, go forward and have a wonderfully prosperous rest of the week. We will look forward to seeing everybody next week. Same time, same place, right here on Zoom. That sounds yeah. good. Take care. Bye, Bye care. everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Oops, where is it? I can't.